If you're looking for big screen entertainment in your home, a video projector is a great way to go. And the best part is that it's more affordable than you think. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the features and capabilities of the Bankio Leisure 530W Home Theater Projector. The Leisure 530W has native 1080p resolution powered by an extremely bright LED light source. Out of the box, the first thing you see is that Vankio has included a 100 inch projection screen, which is a great bonus if you need one. The projector itself is fairly small for the size of image it can project. On the back, there's a single built in speaker, plus the power input and rear infrared receiver. Next to the lens is a large focus wheel, which has very smooth movement. On the side, there are inputs, including USB, dual HDMI ports, analog audio video input, headphone output, and a micro SD card slot. The accessories include a cleaning kit, composite audio video cables, instruction manual, power cord, remote, screws for a ceiling mount, and an HDMI cable. On the top are touch controls for menu navigation, but most of the time I think the remote is more convenient to use. Switching to the bottom, these are the four holes for a ceiling mount as well as an adjustable leg which can be used to raise the lens angle instead of using a book or magazine. But let's get to the more interesting part of this video so you can see what the Leisure 530W can do. The very first time it's powered up, the language needs to be set for the menu interface. And then you can already see that I have my Xbox One connected through the HDMI as my video source. When I first saw the picture, I was amazed at the size and picture quality. And you can see here I have ambient light from my blue LED room lighting as well as a bit of sunlight coming in from the outside through the shades. But even in this room, the picture still looks great, and depending on the angle of where the projector is mounted, it does have 50 degrees of horizontal and vertical digital keystone correction. This will help you perfectly align the image to a screen or a wall. In addition, it also has rotational image adjustment to further fine tune the picture positioning if needed. One thing I think Vankio should have done was put all the inputs on the back so I don't have cables coming out of the side and back as you see here. The thick HDMI cable I'm using isn't very flexible and this looks a bit messy especially if I'm mounting this on a ceiling. I was glad that the touch controls are backlit so they're easy to see in the dark and they make a low beep sound when touched. But what isn't low is the built-in speaker, which is nice and loud when using the projector without an external audio system. They make it look so easy, and it's an entirely different spacecraft and learning to work within that and fighting against the pressure. The first time that I got into the spacesuit and I slipped my hands into the gloves, and I looked down and realized that this was actually happening, when I could actually go to space. Okay, so I think the internal speaker sounds decent if you don't have a separate audio system connected. But you should know there is moderate fan noise and heat coming from the projector. And in my experience, all projectors will increase the room temperature the longer it's on. But as I keep watching this, I'm continually impressed by the brightness and picture quality projecting this on just a plain white wall. And here you can see the brightness compared to my 65 inch TV on the left. It would be a bit brighter if I used the included screen, but the screen is mostly a loose fabric that takes time to get the edges somewhat straight. This is from past experiences I've had with this type of screen. However, I'm glad the screen is included as an option. And just for fun, I turned the projector to my other wall so you can see how big the image can be compared to my 65 inch TV. I can make the image even bigger, but this is as far back as I can move the projector in my room. As mentioned earlier, you can connect two devices to the Vankio Leisure 530W through the HDMI ports. But don't forget you can also play content from a USB drive or micro SD card. Not only that, the Leisure 530 can also screencast wirelessly from a smartphone. This makes it convenient if you mainly use your phone to watch content. If you want to build an impressive media room to entertain family and friends, a projector is the way to go, and the Vankio Leisure 530W definitely delivers. It's really affordable too. Price at $230, it falls right in line with other budget 1080p projectors. And it's capable of table or ceiling mount as well as front or rear projection depending on your screen setup. Here I'm using a Vivo ceiling mount with an extension arm for maximum adjustability. But for all the test shots in this video, I had the projector mounted to a tripod. And remember, this is connected to my Xbox One, so if you're into gaming, it's going to be a whole new experience when playing on a wall-sized screen. 
and you can go up to 220 inches diagonal projecting from about 21 and a half feet away. But the further you go back, the dimmer the image will be. 100 to 120 inches is typical of most setups. The Vankio Leisure 530 is excellent for movies and gaming, and with native 1080p resolution, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.